Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. It's Sydney and excuse the mess. I need to take this cup downstairs. Um, but I am starting my Friday or my weekly vlog off. Today's Friday. I just got off work um, and we're about to fold some clothes. I'm going to my boyfriend's house this weekend. Um, and then my bestie and I were supposed to hang out on Sunday, but we don't really know if we're doing it anymore. Apparently, I don't know, we'll see. But I did want to hop on the vlog because I did just want to chat with you guys. Chat with the girlies. Just like, excuse the lighting. I could turn on my lamp right now, but like, I don't feel like having to take the thing off and plug it in. I feel like so lazy, but, and then also the bulb on this lamp is not the same color as this one. So it's just all types of mess. But anyways, I need to start folding my clothes. What I could do is get some type of light behind here. I don't know, maybe that wouldn't even be functional for real. But um, I need to fold clothes and do laundry quickly. And then I'm gonna pack a small bag to head over to the boyfriend's house. Um, but I do wanna talk to you. Oh, this is, okay, now this is bad. Hold on, let's just, you know what? I'm gonna set y'all right on the bed, up close and personal because this is a mess and hopefully this is better i still don't really prefer this lighting but because i can't set y'all right there it's just it doesn't look right anywho um first of all i want to say thank you guys for 3,000 on tiktok we got 3,000 of my girlies on there or girls and guys so blessed so thankful literally i've really been putting in time to like working on tiktok and just like posting trying to stay consistent like i really have been putting in the work and i feel like it's finally starting to pay off and it feels really good for it to pay off also youtube i feel like i'm starting to get like a little bit of traction on there as well and it just feels really really good because like you know hard work pays off and they always say that and i think that you know because i love to create content because i like to inspire and, you know just make videos and just like film and stuff like this is something that's a passion to me it's always been a passion to me if you've been following me for a while you know i've been making videos since like the old days like back in 2014 when i was in middle school i was making videos like it may not have been this channel i mean i think i did actually have i had another channel but i've been on youtube from for years like literally years so the fact that i can make something out of this you know make money from it you know get the PR, the sponsors, and not even just that, but just having people actually tune in. And honestly, I just have God to thank for it. And then of course you guys. The number may not seem like much, but the fact that I've literally been at 2000 stagnant, like not like directly 2000, but just like the, that field of number. I've been there for a while now. <laughs> and it's like I didn't really feel like I was seeing too much growth so it just feels really good to be recognized especially for something that you really love doing so very very thankful so thank you guys for that we're still trying to grow our YouTube back up I feel like YouTube has been very difficult it's really like you know how they say TikTok is a hit or miss I feel like YouTube is also a hit or miss especially because I'm finally starting to get back into getting into the algorithm. For a really long time, like my content was not what it was. Like, you know, I used to do a lot of like the, the hauls, like the fashion, and I still love doing fashion here and there, but y'all know my channel is not just hauls anymore. Like I'm not a haul channel. And because I have set the premises of my channel and I niched all the way down to doing hauls, it was like when I do vlogs or anything that's not a haul, YouTube doesn't always like that. Or maybe just the people that are on my channel right now don't like that. But, um, Y'all comment down below what y'all did this weekend. You know, what did you do? Did you have some fun? Did you go out or did you just stay in? And it's cool if you just stayed in, but just let me know in the comments if you're watching this. I have to go ahead and just finish up folding these clothes and then I will talk to y'all, I guess when I'm, I don't know if I should talk to y'all when I pack a bag. Does that really, do y'all care about that? I mean, I'll see, I'll see what I do. I really would like to go before it gets too dark. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick my bag literally this is like my over the night bag when i go to anybody's house the telfar the medium telfar love it it's kind of stuffed <laughs> but it's fine i really didn't even overpack like i barely packed anything i packed like a pair of night clothes some clothes when i get out the shower and then an outfit for tomorrow and then the shoes are on the bottom which i think is what's taking up most of the space in there but it's fine now i need to find my keys because i really don't know where they are and then as far as my fit today honestly i was gonna i was like let me put on something cute and then i'm like i'm just going over there and we're literally chilling what are you 
But like, what's wrong with you? We're not doing anything tonight. I'm just going in the stand. Why do you have on a little crop top? Like, please take that off. <laughs> Literally, I'm just wearing some sweatpants. These are from PLT black socks that have some white lint on it sheesh um and then this top this is literally his but like it's simple it's getting dark and i really hate driving in the dark so i'm trying to hurry up so i won't have to drive in the dark but it looks like like you can't see it really this chair is huge by the way like i'm not able to get across and like i'm complaining about it for real but it's like getting dark and his home is like at least 30 minutes 20 ish 20 30 so do I need to get on the road? Yes, yes I do. Hey y'all, so it is the next day and I'm back to vlogging. I don't know exactly what the plan, they can't even see you in the back. Um, I don't know what the plan is for the day. I know we're going to like the Great Falls area because there's where like the bigger homes are and we like to look at the big homes and stuff. And it's a really nice day today. Like it's 60 degrees. The it's weather, chill. it's like a chill day. And then like also the sun finally came out. It was really rainy earlier, but the sun's back out. So I'm gonna show y'all my fit and then we're gonna show his in a second. But I'm pretty sure this is from like, not hoodie, um, sweatshirt from Essence. It's like black. And then the back has like the essentials. I don't know if you can tell, it's like the felt kind of material. And then of course I'm wearing my airy leggings. I'm trying to get a better angle for you guys, but like, I don't know. Wearing my airy leggings, you guys know, and then my New Balance 530s in the navy blue silver color. Where a lot of people ask me where I got these from, it's from GOAT. I get like a lot of my sneakers and stuff, either GOAT or um, what's that other place with the green check mark? Stock X. It's like my favorite, or like I'll go to Essence because Essence usually has stuff too. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then we're gonna show his fit next. He's trying to match my fly because I think he's gonna be wearing a hoodie too, right? Much yeah, but I mean, wear a shirt under it too, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I don't have a shirt on under this, but it's just because this is just a sweatshirt. Why would I have a shirt on under a sweatshirt? It's not gonna be hot. I get cold easily, so hopefully, it's good. I'm gonna step outside. Hopefully, this is good, but yeah, this is the look. I don't have a purse today. I was gonna bring a purse, but then like my bag was full, and the only thing I'm carrying is my camera, my camera battery that I hope I don't lose, my phone, and my wallet. And some chapstick, but Jalen has pockets, so if he needs to keep some stuff in his pockets, he will. In front of the Target sign, which is why it's so red, but we're at Mosaic District and we're going to Matchbox to eat. Jalen left his phone in the car, so he had to go get it. There's some walking. But we're gonna also walk around here because it's like a nice little scenic area that we can walk around and then we'll get food too. Tried to 
bring the best out you. Guess I'm not that influential. Guess I'm not the one that's mad for you. I can hear the tears when they drop over the phone. Get mad at myself 'cause I can't be alone. Gossip and messages that ain't what we doing. Yeah. As you can see, I'm home now. I look really dusty, crusty. Like, why are all of these stains? This is a deodorant stain, by the way. <laughs> anyway, um, like, this shirt is so chaotic. And then my hair. I feel like everything's very chaotic right now. So I'm home. My mom is listening to gospel music. Y'all know. It's Sunday. Sunday means cleaning day. Sunday means blast gospel music around the house. For everyone to hear it. I'm not even mad at it, but it's... I can't really talk. Today I'm supposed to be going to go see the lanterns with my best friend. We're going to go do the lanterns. I think I vlogged about it. Well, I did. It just rained so we didn't get to finish. But I do think we're going to do that today. Um, so I'll try to vlog a little bit as well. I did vlog a little bit yesterday. I'll put whatever clips I can in the video. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what I'm going to wear, to be honest. Everything is like everywhere right now and I'm feeling very, you know, but... Today's a good day, we woke up this morning. And I really hope I don't get copyrighted because of the music in the back, because honestly, this is, this is something. It's only 2.53, but I'm getting ready a little bit early so that I can make some content um, and be able to like talk to you guys without feeling rushed. I just washed my face with the Super Foods, I think that's like the brand, Kale face wash and I'm like almost out. It's a sample size and I'm literally almost out. I'm gonna use my glow recipe. This is like a toner for like I think pore minimizing or I don't even know which one what which does which if I'm being honest but I'm using that. I'm also gonna go in with serum. I did figure out a fit. I will show you guys that as well. It's really cute um but yeah so she turned it down a little bit like can we all thank the Lord for that? <laughs> um, but actually, I did want to show you guys some products from Milk Makeup because they did send me PR. And I don't even know if I got... I did show it on video, but I never got to use it yet. First thing we're going to do is the primer. I already have a Milk Makeup primer, so I'm just going to use this one. Um, I heard a lot of people like compare this to um, the... What is it? Elf? Is it Hydro Grip? Or is this Hydro Grip? This is Hydro Grip. Elf has one too. Literally, just gonna use this here. I'm in the shade 07N. And I like Kosas Concealer. I think it's really good. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. Again, I'm not doing even a whole lot of makeup today. I just, I'm not in the mood for. I haven't been in the mood for a full face in ages. So I don't even know why I'm even saying that. But we're gonna use a little bit of this in the inner corner. Actually, they did give me a laminated type like brow gel type stuff. The Kush Brow Lamination. I'm going to try this out and see if it's good. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it's like a clear probably. It's in the color hybrid. So I'm, I'm guessing it's like clear or something. Yeah, it's clear. So we'll see how this is. The one that I use. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, the one I use is by Anastasia. It's not bad. I do like it. Yeah, so that's the Kush Brow. It's cool. I think I'm going to keep using it to see how much I like it. Hopefully it doesn't like flake up throughout the day. But I'm just going to dab my face. I'm sorry if the lighting's like super blue in some areas. I'm like in front of my window. I don't have any like light. Everything is natural light. I mean, there is a little lamp in the back. But most of everything is like natural lighting. See, I love the way this Kosas gives me brightness. And I know it may look a little crazy right now. But it's like the brightness that this gives me, it helps me to look so much more awake. And I'm like obsessed with it. I could use Huda Beauty. Honestly, this is like what's in front of me right now. So I feel like I should just use it. I usually use my um, Laura Mercier though. But I've also been trying to dabble more into using this. Just because I bought it and like... Why wouldn't I, you know, use it? I'm just going to go in and I do my under eyes or like the areas that I put my makeup. Do mascara. I'm going to try this milk makeup and I'm really hoping that 
it's good because you guys know that my fave mascara is like my Lancome. Actually, we forgot blush. I don't know which one I want to use. So we have like a deeper purple, which is in the color Quickie. And then we have Work, which is like this cute little pink. I think we're going to go for the pink one. We're just going to... Okay. Oh, wow. That's pretty, though. I like it because it's natural, though. And, like, I'm going for a very, you know, natural makeup look today. This packaging is nice. Okay. Okay, Milk, come through. I still don't know if I like it more than my Lancome, but mascara? No mascara. I think I do want a little bit more blush, though. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I don't have enough. This is just Rare Beauty. Hope. I'm going to just add a tiny bit more on top to add to the pinkness and then my real techniques brush this is the contour brush and as you can see i just want a little bit more on top literally rare beauty is amazing it's cute i like it okay so <laughs> for a spray setting spray i literally need to get some more like i'm not gonna talk about it at this point and tbd gloss this is my favorite this is fussy heat it's like a pink gloss. This is the look. And then I need to lay my edges real quick because they are a mess. And you know what? I've been <laughs> I've been on a lot of strikes lately, and one of them has been like not laying my edges. And you know what? We're not even gonna talk about it. I've been very much lazy, and it's also because I have a middle part, so I feel like I don't even really need to because my hair is just like this. But I don't know. I lay <sighs> I don't know I'm, I'm gonna lay them today just because i feel like it because i really don't like to do my edges like i feel like braids is a protective style and as a protective style why should i have to you know do more to my hair if they're a protective style like why should i have to lay my edges every day the basic stuff you know and i mean laying your edges is the basic stuff but i'm just lazy at this point so it is what it is Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I turned my fan on because I'm hot. Like, I know it's like fall, but like, why is it so hot in my room? I turned, like, I can't. But I took my jacket off too because it's so freaking hot in my room right now. Like, I've been moving around. But I'm gonna show y'all my foot real quick and then we taking the jacket right off. Um, it, This is probably such a typical fit for, for me, especially because Uggs and then this sweatshirt I've been wearing the life out of lately but i love it and i finally get to bring out my leather jacket from zara so freaking cute and then i clip my hair with a clear claw clip in the back to do something a little bit different to it um and then put on gold jewelry usually i do silver but i was like feeling gold today i even earned my pants like mm -hmm. I had to delete stuff from my sd card because it was literally full I hate having to step over my chair like i'm gonna look, look at this this distance between my chair and my bed like it's actually uncomfortable but okay fit check <laughs> let's show you guys what i'm wearing today because i feel like it's super cute and it's also really giving fall i'd also love to get a new tribe because this one like the stabilization in my opinion like i don't know if i'm just an unsteady hand but i'm editing out me shaking like I hate it but anyway um the jacket obviously zara zara abercrombie and fetch dang girl why is everything from zara okay bag as well and then these are obviously from uggs literally i think i actually no i think i got these ones from Bloomingdale's. but so cute so fall I, if i had my brown nails which i'm getting on wednesday this would even be like such a fall look like would have ate fall like completely super cute i'm glad i got ready a little bit early because my phone needs to be charged and then i also just need to film content so now i feel very content because i got my get ready with me filmed for you guys and then i also got a couple little outfit clips for the tiktok i said the tiktok i was gonna say the talk but that really didn't sound good so we're just not even gonna say that
I haven't talked to you guys in like a few hours. I don't know why my camera's not trying to focus, but basically we're inside the hotel, the Gaylord Hotel, because it was way too cold. Like, and I knew, and I thought getting there a little bit later would help the coldness, but I was literally shivering, shaking. I was like, yeah, no. I get cold really easily. I really do think that I am anemic at this point because it was so cold and I really, I couldn't do it. So we came in, well, I came in first, stayed for a few minutes. I'm like, Jess, like, I know you cold out there. You can come in, we can do our lanterns in here because it was really chilly, the wind was blowing. If it wasn't like the wind wasn't blowing, then I feel like I would have been perfectly fine. But the wind was blowing, so I was a little chilly. Um, but we did our lanterns. As you guys seen, I did a little montage of it. I think it looks really cute. And it's gonna be even cuter when we have the little light on. So I'm excited about that. This hotel is so nice though. Like, I'm gonna have to get me a room here one of these days. Cause like, look at the scenery and everything. And it's like an indoor outdoor vibe. And then it has like all the levels with the suites on top. And then like the cafe. They have like an indoor pool, but it's real nice. So we're about to literally go out there to see if we can launch the lanterns now because we are trying to get as much time in here as we can because it's so cold out there. Literally. And once we get out there, we're launching our lanterns and then leaving <laughs> because yeah. I am cold. I, I can't, like I really can't. It's literally people in here with the lantern bags that we have like sitting doing their lanterns in here because it's freezing out there like how can anybody do it i know i can't but anyway maybe i'm a little dramatic but it is real cold out there yeah i'm a little dramatic but anyways we're about to i'll, I'll vlog when we get out there and then i'll yeah we we, we trying to get all the heat we can because it feels real good in here